Risky rescues on Arizona mountains are jet suits, the game changer fire departments need to get to injured, stranded and dehydrated hikers even faster. Well, tests are underway on one of them with hopes that paramedics can use them. And Team 12's Nayella Charles shows us if we'll see that high flying technology here. First responders in jet suits flying to stranded and injured people. It looks like something out of a sci fi movie. We're walking. Gravity now. Industries says this jetpack can make a 25 minute hike in just 90 seconds. That could be a huge time saver for paramedics performing risky rescues on mountains here in the Valley and Arizona. Just last week, a bystander caught rescue teams saving a woman who couldn't finish her hike. The Mesa Fire Department says sites like these are all too common. We'll see that in a lot of our urban areas, especially around South Mountain, Camelback Mountain, where there are individuals who may be less prepared when they go out for a hike. Right now in the United Kingdom, an ambulance service is figuring out if jetpacks will make for more efficient mountain saves. In this test run, the tester is flying over a mountain range more than 2,500 feet high. Smith says although the new technology looks enticing. What a cool piece of equipment. How fun would that be? He wonders if the risk outweighs the reward. What a cool piece of equipment. How fun would that be? How, is it uh, plausible and practical then to have to train that many people or train a set number of people to essentially be pilots? Right now, local rescue teams use drones and helicopters to map out the terrain for a save. Smith says so far those tools are enough, but that could change down the road. We're always taking a look at emerging technologies and what is out there and what allows us to do our job better. Ayala Charles, 12 News.